Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize your PC to improve your FPS in Forever Winter dropped recently. This guide covers all of the Windows settings and game settings that will help you to gain extra FPS, fix your FPS drops, lags and performance issues, so make sure to stick around till the end and with all this said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is as usual the essential Windows settings. You have to make sure that you have the right settings available on your PC. Make sure to go over to gaming, head over to Windows, Game Bar, and turn this thing off. Game Bar consumes a lot of CPU usage and disabling so will help you to gain extra FPS. Go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on. This will help you to optimize your PC by turning things off in the background allowing you to gain extra FPS as well. Head over to the graphics section and then click on change default graphics settings. Enable both hardware extractor GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for windowed games as both of them will help you to use your gpu for rendering the games and reduce your input latency and rendering latency go back to graphics and then click on this little browse button over here and then go to the install location of your game once you find your game click on the add button over here head over to windows and then go over to forever winter binaries win64 and then select the win64 shipping.exe once you edit that head over to options click on high performance and then click on save and this will utilize your gpu primarily for rendering the game once you're done with that close your settings step number two is deanimating your windows and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and once you're over here click on the custom button and then select save taskbar thumbnail previews show thumbnails instead of icons show window contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts as all of them will help you to minimize the windows look but reduce all unwanted animations on your pc head over to the advanced tab over here and then click on the programs for process scheduling for virtual memory click on the change button and then click on custom size set the initial size to 1361 and for the maximum size, open up your calculator. Once you're over here, multiply the RAM on your PC with 1024. I have 32GB RAM, so I'll multiply that and this will give you your memory in megabytes. Divide this whole value by 2 and the new value has to be pasted in the maximum size. Once you're done with that, click on set and then click on OK and then click on OK once again to apply the best animations and virtual memory for your PC. Step number 3 is creating a restore point and for that, simply search for create a restore point on your PC and over here, select your local disk C. Click on create and name it forever winter just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to make sure that you can restore all of your settings back to normal without any data loss. Once that is done, click on the close button over here and close system properties. Next step is the forever winter FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can simply open it up and you'll find in six simple folders. First one is CPU priority, head over to that. And if you have an AMD CPU like me, you can double click and run the AMD CPU priority. And if you have an Intel CPU, you can use the Intel CPU priority. You can simply double click to run it. And once you're done with that, head back to the main folder, go over to RAM optimization. And once again, I have left a ton of presets according to your PC. I have 32GB RAM, so I need to use this one. It could be different for you. And once again, if you didn't like the performance or it is not as expected, you can always reset it back to default from here. Go back to the main folder and now open up GPU optimization in which you will find in three simple registries. Make sure to run all of them. This will help you to disable your GPU energy driver. This will also help you to disable your GPU power throttling and increase your GPU SFIU priority. All of these will help you to optimize the total throughput of your GPU and allowing you to gain extra FPS. Go back to the main folder. Next one is the forever winter priority. Open this thing up and I have left high priority and normal priority. Once again, you have to select high priority and this will actually help you to set your system resources optimally for the game. Once again, if that doesn't work out as intended, you can always use the normal priority to revert it back to normal. Next is the unwanted services in which I have left a ton of registry files. All of them will help you to disable unnecessary services on your PC. Once again, if you use any Bluetooth devices, skip the Bluetooth services, but other than that, you can disable every single one of them. This will help you disable core parking, downloading maps in the background, disabling extra unnecessary services, printer service, transparency, Xbox service, thread priority, and Win32 priority separation. All of them will help you to increase your FPS performance drastically. And once again, if you want to revert any of them back to normal, you can use the revert registries folder and select any one that you want to revert. Once that is done, head back to the main folder and open up the programs folder in which you'll find three simple programs. First one is cache cleaner, right click and run this as administrator. This will start deleting all temporary files on your PC. And these files are completely dump files, which are created by your programs temporarily. You can feel free to delete all of them to ensure that you get extra performance and maximum FPS. 
FPS in the game. Next is the memory.txt. Right click on this as administrator. Here is how memory dot actually works. You guys can see that my computer is currently using 10.2 GB of my RAM. And as soon as I click on clean memory and then click on yes, this number will start falling down. This will help you to optimize your RAM performance and reduce the usage and making sure that you have enough headroom while you're playing the games. I highly recommend you guys to run this each and every time you drop into your games. Once it is done, close task manager in memory dot and now open up quick CPU. Once the application opens up, you guys can see a window similar to this. Click on the maximum performance graph over here and then click on accept. Click on OK and make sure that all of these sliders are set to 100%. Once that is done, click on apply and then click on OK and close quick CPU. And this is how you optimally set your CPU usage, GPU usage, RAM usage and clean all of your temporary files. Once you're done with that, close the FPS pack and now go to the next step that is disabling sys main. You guys can find this under services, open up services on your PC. Once it opens up, click on S on your keyboard and look for sysmin in this list. Right click and stop this if it is already running and head over to the properties section and for the startup type set this into disabled and then click on apply. Sysmain is not a very useful service and most of the time it's just consuming CPU and memory usage in the background. Disabling so will help you to gain performance and in general system smoothness while you're using your PC. Once that is done, close the services tab and now open up the game for the best in game settings. Okay, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then head over to options. Go over to display and then for the overall quality set this thing to custom resolution should be a monitor resolution and the shading quality should be set to low window mode should be full screen dynamic resolution should be turned on vertical sync should be turned off frame rate limit should be set to unlimited anti-aliasing quality and foliage quality low texture quality medium shadow quality low reflection quality low post processing quality low particle quality and view distance should be set to low and medium and global illumination should also be set to medium however you can also set this thing to low motion blur should be turned off and the resolution Resolution scale should be set to 50. Once that is done, press your escape key and now you can enjoy the game with the best FPS possible. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button as it really helps me out. We'll see you guys in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.